Previously in Dalton's atomic theory, it was believed that all the atoms of an element have similar properties including their masses. Later, after plenty of research, it was found that atoms of an element can possess the same atomic number but different masses. Such atoms of an element are called isotopes. For this very reason, it is a pretty fascinating topic to explore. Even though these isotopes have different atomic masses, they occupy the same position in the periodic table and possess the same chemical properties. This is because their number of protons and electrons are the same. Wasn't that a noteworthy discovery? This phenomenon was first discovered by the scientist Soddy. Here a question arises why there is difference in mass if the atoms are of same element. The difference in mass of isotopes is due to the difference in the number of neutrons. Isotopes also have the same number of protons and electrons, but a different number of neutrons. Let's take a look at an example for clarity. On this side, you can see three different isotopes of carbon expressed as carbon-12, carbon-13 and carbon-14. Even though they have the same number of protons, in this case 6. They have a different number of neutrons. In other words, they all have different mass numbers. In the case of the first isotope, it has 6 neutrons. The next one has 7 and the third one has 8 neutrons. Similarly, there are 3 isotopes of hydrogen with a different number of neutrons. Oxygen also has 3 isotopes, Nickel has 5 isotopes, Calcium has 6 isotopes, Palladium has also 6 isotopes, Cadmium has 9 and Tin has 11 isotopes. So you can clearly see that different elements can own a different number of isotopes. Believe it or not, these isotopes are present infinitely in nature. Here there is a table which shows the isotopes occurring naturally with their relative atomic masses. The properties mentioned are generally those of the most abundant isotope and this abundance is calculated using a process called mass spectrometry which we will discuss in the upcoming videos. If we are to talk about the present, there exist 280 different isotopes in nature including 40 radioactive ones. Nevertheless, these isotopes can also be produced by artificial disintegration. They are quite unstable and up until now, around 300 radioactive isotopes have been produced by this method. If any element has only one isotope, they are termed monoisotopic elements. Such elements include arsenic, fluorine, iodine and gold. For you to easily remember this, I would like to share with you a general rule. In most cases, elements that have an odd atomic number like 37 or 41 possess no more than two stable isotopes, while elements having even atomic numbers possess a large number of isotopes and finally the isotopes with mass numbers and multiples of 4 are more abundant. For instance, oxygen, magnesium, silicon, calcium and iron which make up 50% of earth's crust and if you look closely, they all have the atomic number which is a multiple of 4. These isotopes are more abundant. Quite interesting isn't it? Do you know? that 154 out of the 280 isotopes have even mass numbers and even atomic numbers. Now, isn't that a remarkable piece of information? Sure it is.